Hi everyone, Reed here at Tolnesel Cooperative Farm in Les Cedres. It's early March and uh, we're just getting our seedling greenhouse set up so that we can turn the heat on in a couple days and start seeding onions and leeks and uh, celeriac and early stuff for the field greenhouses. But I wanted to take a video of this, uh, what's it called? I call it the flying festoon after a Shel Silverstein poem but it's like a hose trolley thingy. And uh, ours is made pretty simply, but it works really well. I'll pull this one down so you can see the, uh, the cars are these um, little ball bearing roller carriages. There's a version with uh, four wheels or a simple version like this with two wheels. I think ultimately I had to buy them from McMaster car but uh, they're part of the set of parts that goes with um, the, the channel, which is unistrut, or uh, also known as can truss. Um, lots of different manufacturers make it. It's pretty widely available. It's used uh, often cut up into little pieces for brackets for mounting things uh, in industrial locations and for hanging pipe and so forth. And so you can get lengths of non-perforated uh, unistrut like this and junctions to clamp them together and uh, so I just bought however many 24 foot lengths it took to uh, run the length of our greenhouse and hung them and then built these uh, cars out of ordinary hardware one of the u-bolts has a bolt welded to the top of it and they just uh, attach the hose to each car and uh, each loop of hose hangs from one of those kind of hoops. The black plastic is uh, uh, its just some random uh, Jonathan Bruderline, if you watch this, it's a piece of plastic culvert that you brought to the farm some, I don't know, 10 years ago when you worked here and it kicked around for long enough that I finally found a use for it. So uh, thanks Johnny. Um, what up? I'm gonna set the camera here and then take the uh, festoon for a walk. Maybe you can still hear me. Uh, there's no water in it at present because we haven't got the heat on yet, but it has been working for years now. Uh, and we're pretty happy with it. So it lets you walk down, watering as you go, at your pace, do one side and the other. Right now, obviously, the uh, greenhouse is in its shortened uh, cold weather setup. So we just have a walk space at the end of the tables before that uh, curtain that's hung there. But there's enough hose hanging on the rack to get all the way to the end, especially now that I've added that uh, unattractive but totally functional red piece that finishes it, lets it run the, the length of the greenhouse. This isn't a very big greenhouse. It's a uh, 20 foot wide by 96 feet long and so I think there's a hundred and I think there's a bit more than a hundred feet of hose because it has to get up and over here to where the jet pump pushes it so I hope this is helpful to someone who is sick of garden hose dragging around and being a pain in the butt in a seedling greenhouse thanks for watching